Hello everyone, welcome to iExamB. The RBI DEPR 2023 Phase 1 exam has concluded and now is the time to start to focus on your Phase 2 preparation. We are going to start an intro class on the 28th of July and in this video, I will discuss in detail how you should spend the next 40 days in your preparation for Phase 2 to ensure that you clear Phase 2 and reach the interview stage. If you want to see the questions that were asked, a short analysis has already been done and you'll find the video on uh, our YouTube channel uh, in which the quick analysis of the questions asked for the economics objective and for English descriptive have been given. Aditi ma'am will also be coming out very soon with a detailed exam analysis question wise discussing different questions memory based and what their answers would be based on those discussions and uh, the inputs given by various students who have in given this exam we are expecting the cutoff to be somewhere around 50 51 plus minus two on each side so this is what we are expecting but let's see how the result comes out the focus will be now in this video however that please do not waste your time for your results to come out to start your preparation you should start your preparation because wasting even a few hours or days can hurt you the competition is stiff if i talk about last year last year only 291 students had made it to the phase one and from uh, made it to phase two sorry and had cleared phase one and from these around 66 uh, I think 60 students had who had made it to the interview stage so the competition yes does get refined and is tough so every hour is important so my suggestion is that you start your preparation and not waste thinking that the exam is in September because if we see we have 40 days but these 40 days also you have to see that you have a good advantage if we talk about RBI general the time given for phase two was very very less uh, and in fact after the results if you see they only have 10 days left for the preparation so you don't want to be in a situation where you are struggling for preparation so start in on time gives you enough time to prepare so uh, to recap what a phase two will be the good part this year that has been done is that phase two is only focusing on economics unlike previous year when descriptive English was also included. So students also had to prepare descriptive English for phase two and the way the exam was given was different because English happens on a computer type basis while your economics paper is handwritten. So now this year when only economics paper is going to happen in phase two in two papers paper one and paper two but both are handwritten so uh, a student does not have to uh, you know practice both handwriting and your computer typing so that way this is a little better situation for the students this year if i talk about the two papers the first paper both are on economics but the first paper will focus on microeconomics and macroeconomics modules and your paper two will focus on quantitative methods and Indian economy the detailed syllabus is already given uh, in in the notification I'm not discussing that in detail because uh, mo most of you would have actually gone through the detailed syllabus for these two but yes these are the areas they will be covering in paper one and paper two here now to how to start exactly what one should do so 40 days IXMP has given a suggestive 40 day study plan to you that you can follow in which all the four modules divided over the two papers will get covered and revised for you. Additionally, uh, it is very, very important that you write mock test and you practice writing because uh, you should be able to express your answers and also finish it in a timely manner. So for this, uh, at IXMP, we are doing it in a staggered manner where for both paper one and paper two, one one test each would be released uh, at a gap of a week, which you can write and submit for checking. And it will be checked one on one for every student who is submitting and feedback will be given in terms of your content and presentation uh, of the answer. We will also be giving you a sample answer file for those particular questions so these will be 10 mock tests five each for each of the paper one and paper two to 
again uh, reiterate paper one is based on your micro and macro topics and paper two is on your uh, quantitative methods and your Indian economy so five questions each five uh, five mock test each consisting of five questions a total of 50 questions you will be able to practice get evaluated and get sample answers to the other very important thing will be we will also be doing 10 live sessions uh, to each uh, of the sessions will be focused on each of the four modules so two sessions on microeconomics two sessions on macroeconomics two sessions on quantitative methods and two sessions on Indian economy we will also be doing a special session of finance related topics as you have seen even in phase one we got a few finance questions one of the model was on CAPM model which is a financial uh, topic and and uh, you know this topic was also asked last year so I will also show you the past year papers for 2021 and 22 for the descriptive economics paper that have come and CAPM was covered that so similarly uh, some important topics from finance that would be of importance for you we will hold a special class to discuss those also so this will be uh, the plan of doing the classes enough gap is there between the sessions so that you can also come up with your doubts discuss prepare in between and be able to give the test and attend the live sessions all this will be a part of the DEPR phase 2 crash course in which already includes video lessons, study notes and practice tests that you have been using for your phase 1 also. Also there will be interview guidance included in this if you move to the interview stage. All the discussion that I have shown you related to mock test and the live classes and the 40 day study plan and the exam pattern for that a complete preparation guide has been uh, made by uh, Aditi ma'am for your preparation for your DEPR exam phase 2 you can download that from the description of this video so moving ahead to discuss the past year papers as I said uh, I am uh, showing you the past year papers from each of the sections that have come in 2021 and 22 if I talk about 2022 from microeconomics there were three questions which had different parts so they had uh, these were 20 marks question 10 10 marks each or you know subdivided into even uh, seven, uh, uh, a ratio of 12 and 8 the question uh, was related to ISLM numerical that was asked uh, there was a question on tragedy of commons uh, so the situation was given you had to solve and explain the tragedy of commons you have uh, given the example there was a question uh, related to the uh, capital and labor price that you had to do which was related to the least factor cost combination there was a question on the demand and cost function uh, that had come and then there was a question in which you had to write short notes on absolute measures of poverty Brandon Krugman model or the Kuznets inverted U hypothesis if I talk about 2021 there was a question on Mundell Fleming model under the perfect and imperfect capital mobility uh, general equilibrium numerical was given uh, there was a production uh, function related numerical and there was a public goods numerical and arrows impossibility theorem was tested so even in phase two there is a possibility of numericals coming this year also if I talk about the Indian economy topics from 2022 there was a uh, question on the importance of women empowerment this topic in general has been asked on the economic side or on the descriptive English in the uh, essay topics so it's a very very uh, recurring topic that keeps happening women empowerment financial inclusion related on the overall economic development then the question was another one was on, related to economic growth poverty and inequality in the global scenario and the second part related to the unemployment rate exceeding the growth rate being the biggest challenge in India so you had to comment on this statement giving the scenario of how unemployment rate has moved and the growth rate has moved and how that is creating a challenge uh, for India how India is not being able to take full utilization of the demographic dividend and not generating enough employment opportunities then uh, there were a question where short notes had to be written on uh, a bad bank fiscal response to the COVID-19 so COVID-19 uh, this 
uh, you know topic was again recurring a lot over the last one or two years and even this year in the essay topics they have asked so the covid-19 although two years old is still not gone away because it has had a huge impact on the economy and the responses and the repercussions are still ongoing so it is not faded away so one should be aware about how the monetary policy and the fiscal policy had been responding and what are they doing even currently then monetary developments in 2021 in fact this is very relevant to now move on to the current year because in the in the current cycle now rbi has been increasing the interest rates and uh, now of course they have paused it from the last two monetary policy however we have seen the uh, the implications of increase in the uh, uh, interest rates in other economies especially us where you know some bank failures have also happened uh, because of this bank runs have also taken place so the monetary developments and their impact on the banking system will be important for you to prepare urban poverty alleviation policies um, even the budget this year has been talking about an urban infrastructure development fund uh, so uh, uh, urban uh, development urban poverty alleviation again is an important topic even now then impact of covid-19 on credit delivery and inclusion we can now talk it like i said from the current point of view when we are in the increasing interest rate cycle uh, another question was there related to the sustainable development goals sdg again remains a very very important topic climate change the climate risk and how rbi is responding and being a part of the green initiatives the green bonds the green finance that has been talked about all these should also be covered and prepared for you for this year then the indian concept of financial stability this year's financial stability report what it is talking about uh, will be another important Uh, area to prepare even the forex policy uh, of the government and how rbi is managing our forex reserves will be another important topic that you should prepare for if i talk about 2021 the topics that were covered were related to finance commission the covid 19 and the government response so you can see this was there even in 21 and in 22 and in 23 they have asked it in a essay topic in descriptive english status of malnutrition in india and the measures to combat it inequality in developed and developing countries so these were the topics that were covered and some other topics which were bordering on banking topics and indian economy related to the war model the niche banks in india and the drivers of inflation in india in 19 and 20 this can even be important in the current year because the inflation you can see is very very high uh, the the government and the rbi has been trying to control it and bring it into its range of 4% plus minus 2% actually plus 2% range as of now uh, and how the food inflation is hurting uh, so inflation can be a very very important topic even in the current year then transmission lags in the economy was something that was uh, asked in 2021 if i talk about econometrics in 2022 there was a question related to the trend estimation based on a given set of data related to sales so this was a numerical that was there in 22 in 21 there was no question from econometrics if i talk about the finance question that came in 2022 it was again related to the capm model it had three parts where they had asked to explain the capm model then given you certain values of the risk free interest rate market rate and asked you to ca- calculate the current stock price given the expected price of the stock and then they had also asked you in a third part to calculate the feasibility or to check the feasibility of a investment <coughs> given the interest rates that were mentioned so a uh, capm model has again been repeated in the objective part so some finance topics even if not mentioned in the syllabus but directly relate to how the risk and reward is functioning should be prepared is what i'm suggesting and we will be covering this in one of our live sessions uh, apart from the mock test we are also giving you one pdf of 50 most important questions to prepare from the descriptive point of view the pdf of this is also available uh, for downloading from the description of this video 
So uh, that's all from my end. Thank you everybody for listening and paying attention. I'm wishing you all the best for your phase one result and to start your preparation on time for phase two. If you have any other queries, you can always reach out to us on 920-552-4028 or write to us at hello at iexambi.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll keep coming up with updates and important discussions for your phase two preparation. I am repeating again, please do not waste time. Uh, every hour, every day counts in your preparation to reach that last number uh, because the competition, of course, gets even tougher from uh, the phase two and for the interview level. So all this preparation will not only prepare you for phase two, but also for your interview stage. So wishing you all the best. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.